Bionics Medical Technologies, improving patient care for more than 20 years with innovative solutions designed by medical professionals for medical professionals. Ceramin, commonly known as earwax, is a natural and necessary substance in healthy ears. However, each year, 10.5 million people see their doctor because of problems resulting from excessive ceramin buildup, including pain, vertigo, tinnitus, and hearing loss, especially among the elderly. Wax impaction can decrease hearing acuity by 40 to 45 decibels. While ceramin impaction affects people of all ages, it is particularly prevalent among the elderly, who more often experience dry, hard to remove wax. Hearing aid users also have a higher incidence of wax impaction, since the hearing aid can impede the natural migration of wax from the ear canal. Left untreated, the ceramin buildup can prevent the hearing aid from functioning properly. In both children and adults, ceramin buildup can also make it difficult to diagnose diseases of the ear, such as otitis media, a condition accounting for roughly 14.2 million pediatric office visits each year. The key to resolving all of these problems is ceramin removal. This video will demonstrate the proper technique for safe ceramin removal using Bionics Safe Ear Curettes, Bionics Lighted Ear Curettes, and the Bionics AutoClear Ear Irrigation System. Each of these patented products has been proven clinically effective in safely removing ceramin from patients of all ages. Traditional stainless ear curettes are effective but potentially dangerous. Their rigid design can easily damage the delicate ear canal, causing injury, pain, or bleeding. Bionic Safe Ear Curettes offer a flexible, single-use alternative to metal curettes. Developed by a pediatrician in 1984, they have since become the number one choice of physicians around the world for safe curettage. Their strong but flexible design gently conforms to the ear canal, offering greater ease of use and confidence for healthcare providers, plus greater comfort and safety for their patients. Bionics Safe Ear Curettes come in seven tip styles, each designed to accommodate specific needs and preferences. And they transition seamlessly with Bionics Lighted Ear Curettes, which offer the added features of targeted illumination and magnification for even better accuracy and ease of use. For normal curettage in most patients, choose the White Flex Loop, the most popular curette style, or the Lighted Flex Loop, both feature the same 4 mm tip style. Another option for patients with larger ear canals is the orange control loop. Its 4 mm shapely tip is specially formed to allow ceramin to be pulled straight out of the ear canal. For patients with ceramin that is hard to reach, tough or impacted, select the 4 mm red angle loop or the corresponding lighted angle loop. Some patients produce more ceramin than others. The 4 mm yellow Sarah spoon and lighted Sarah spoon are specially designed to easily remove excess amounts of soft wax. For the smaller ear canals of infants and young children, the blue infant scoop and lighted infant scoop are advantageous. The blue infant scoop is designed to be used through your otoscope. The compact 3 mm tip on the green micro loop and lighted micro loop curette is small enough for pediatric use but strong enough to remove tough, impacted ceramin. With very young or sensitive patients, choose the purple VersaLoop or its lighted VersaLoop counterpart, offering a thinner, more flexible tip design for precise control and comfort. For the toughest jobs, there's the lighted wave curette for optimum visibility and precise control when removing stubborn ceramin. Made with FDA-approved colorants and polymers, all Bionic Safe Ear Curettes and Lighted Ear Curettes are designed to be safe, effective, and simple to use. Hi, I'm Dr. James Hutner, and I'm the inventor of the Safe Ear Curette. 
Today I'm going to share some best practices on cerumen removal that you can employ in your practice. We're going to be using three products from Bionics Medical Technologies. The Safe Ear Curettes, the Lighted Ear Curettes, which include the curettes, the handle, and the magnification lens, which assembled provide light magnification and illumination down into the ear canal. We're also going to be using the Otoclear Safe Irrigation System, which provides safe and effective cerumen removal in patients of all ages. Using these products, you'll be able to maximize cerumen removal and be able to perform it safely, efficiently, and with maximum patient comfort in your practice. can have mom less resting her back against the table with the baby on the mom's shoulders. Again, she's in that kind of L between the head and the shoulders, so she's resting very comfortably. If we need to, we can have mom reach her hand up and hold her arm to keep her from grabbing me, and then I can use my hand to kind of compress the head against the shoulder and, and uh, neck so that we can kind of trap the child's head there if we need to really further restrain her, but I think she'll be fine. As always, we're going to take our otoscope and examine the ear canal to see how much wax is there and where it is and what kind it is. And we see we have a little wax in there. So now we're going to select a lighted ear curette tip. I'm going to choose the VersaLoop. This is an excellent tip for the smaller children because it's a smaller size, very flexible, and allows me to get into the smaller ear canals. You assemble it the same way as we did before. You simply insert it into the light handle, give it a little twist. That'll lock it right into position by the magnification lens by just snapping it right onto the light handle. You like this. Now we're going to use our hand, again position the child on her on the mom's shoulder. We can extend the ear canal a little bit and now I have the advantage of having light and visualization down in the ear canal. I can actually see where that wax is and I can gently go in there and very carefully, very accurately remove the wax as I need to without causing any discomfort to the child. Once we're done with that, we again want to use our otoscope to re-examine the ear canal, make sure we've removed enough wax so that we can get a good examination of the child's eardrum. For the little older kids, particularly when they get a little heavy for mom to put up on their shoulder, a good way of positioning them is to have the child sitting on the parent's lap. And what we do <laughs> is we have him turn himself have the mom turn the child to one direction or the other. So we're going to have mom turn him a little sideways, just like that. And sweetheart, what I want you to do is lay your head down on mommy. And now we're going to have the mom hold the child's arm with one hand. And with her other hand, she can hold the child's forehead, just bring it right across the forehead like that. And that allows us to position and restrain the child as we need to. Now again, we're going to take an otoscope and look in the child's ear canal and see where the wax is. We're going to look in there and we see there's a little bit of wax in the way so we can't get our good exam. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the proper ear curette so we can remove the wax. Now for a small child, I would want to choose one of the smaller curettes, either the infant scoop, the versa loop, or in this case I'm going to use the flex loop, which is a good general purpose curette and certainly sufficient for his size. Again, we position the child. This is a blind procedure, so we're going to use our hand to extend the ear canal. This straightens and extends it, and we're going to go in an up and over motion gently taking the wax out of the ear canal very gently very gently and we're going to take the wax out I find that the roof and the walls of the ear canal again are more sensitive than the floor of the ear canal so we're going to use that up and over motion one more time and we take the wax out there you go we're all out and now again we're going to use our otoscope to get another look in the ear canal ensure that the wax has been removed and so that we have enough wax removed so we get a good examination of the child's eardrum. First thing you want to do is position the patient comfortably either in a chair or on a table so they're at the right height so you can see into their ear canal. As before, you want to use an otoscope first to examine the ear canal to see and identify the type and position of wax that may be in your way. And once you've identified the type of wax and its location in the ear canal, you can then go ahead and select the tip that you want to use to remove the earwax. Now in this case, I'm going to choose the Flex Loop Lighted Curette. 
We're going to use the flex loop tip because this is a good, flexible, general purpose tip that's excellent for these aged children. Again, to assemble the lighted ear curette, it's very simple. All you do is take the curette tip, insert it into the light handle, give it a simple twist till it locks into place, take the magnification lens and snap that right onto the light handle and you're ready to go. Again, position the patient. You're going to take your hand, slightly extend the ear canal. This will or extend the ear. This is going to straighten the ear canal. And now you can use your lighted curette to evaluate where the wax is to see right down into the ear canal and gently and safely remove that ear wax from the ear canal. You can even get in there close with the magnification lens so that you can do the entire procedure under direct visualization of the curettage procedure. After you're done, you then use the otoscope one more time to re-examine the ear canal and complete your ear examination procedure. Bionic safe ear curettes and lighted ear curettes are designed to reduce the possible complications resulting from ear curettage. In cases where repeated curettage has abraded the ear canal, or if the curette comes in contact with the tympanic membrane, patients may experience minor bleeding, which generally resolves quickly. True eardrum perforations are rare. The OtoClear ear irrigation system is designed to safely and gently wash away cerumen that is too close to the eardrum or too hard and impacted to be removed with a curette. Ear irrigation with traditional methods uses a single stream of water aimed directly at the tympanic membrane. This is painful and risks injuring or perforating the eardrum. With the OtoClear ear irrigation system, three streams of water are directed away from the eardrum and towards the ear canal wall. This prevents injury to the eardrum and allows the water to get behind the obstruction and gently wash it away. The OtoClear tip has a flared design that prevents it from being inserted too far into the ear canal. And the same tip fits ear canals of all sizes, so it can be used for patients of all ages. Large exit portals in the OtoClear tip prevent pressure buildup in the ear canal and reduce messy backsplash. Instead, water drains in a controlled fashion into the Bionics ear basin. The OtoClear ear irrigation system has a lure fitting that allows you to choose the water delivery system that will be most effective for your needs. Use a large syringe, 60 cc's works best, for gentle irrigation. Or use the special adapter wand fitted to the portable water pick irrigator for a pulsatile lavage that can be more effective for removing impacted cerumen. Do not attempt ear irrigation if the patient has tympanostomy tubes or has a known or suspected eardrum perforation. The presence of infection, otitis externa or otitis media, is a relative contraindication and the risks and benefits of irrigation should be considered before treatment. Now we're going to show you how to use the OtoClear Safe Irrigation System to quickly and efficiently remove impacted wax from an ear canal. First thing I want to do is arrange all the equipment that I need for the procedure. I have an otoscope so that I can examine the ear canal, the OtoClear Safe Irrigation System, the catch basin, and then I have a drape to uh, cover the patient to catch any stray water droplets that might occur and also a tissue so that I can take wax out, or take water out of the ear canal if I need to uh, so that I can examine the ear after the procedure. Uh, first thing we're going to do as in all procedures is to use our otoscope to examine the ear canal and look for the presence of wax and here we can see that there's impacted serum in the ear canal and this patient then would be a candidate for ear irrigation. The OtoClear safe irrigation system has two parts. It has the OtoClear tip and it has a water delivery portion. It attaches easily onto the wand or the water delivery system using a simple lure lock twist. The uh, reservoir of the water delivery system uh, is filled with water which has been warmed to body temperature. Now it's important that you use body temperature as close to body temperature water as possible using too hot or too cold water can cause calorics and that can cause problems for your patients. So again, 
choose water that is as close to body temperature as you can. Now here I'm just using regular tap water to do the irrigation. It is possible to put hydrogen peroxide in the water if you choose, but I don't find that it's necessary. First thing I'm going to do is drape the patient, and again, this is just going to contain any stray water droplets that might occur. We're going to actually have the patient herself hold the ear basin against her head and neck. And that way, it allows us to have our hands free, one hand to hold the otoclear, and the other hand to extend and straighten the ear canal and help manipulate. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to extend the ear up and out, this will straighten the ear canal, and we're going to insert the tip fully into the ear canal. Now, this is important because fully inserting the tip into the ear canal will, pre will prevent any backsplash from the procedure. Because uh, some patients uh, are uh, startled by the sudden onrush of water, I find it helpful to give a little on and off uh, just to get them used to the feel of the water. And again, we're going to give it a little quick on and off here. This gets them used to the procedure, and now we can go ahead and just irrigate. And as you can see, there's very little backsplash from the procedure. The water's draining easily into the ear basin through the large uh, exit portals there. I let it go till I'm about halfway through the reservoir in the irrigation uh, device, and then I'm going to stop the procedure, take the basin away. I'll use a tissue to uh, absorb any water from the ear canal, and then I'm going to use my otoscope to re-examine the ear canal and this is important because now we can see if there is any earwax still remaining and I see there's a little wax remaining I can go ahead and repeat the position the uh, the procedure as necessary until I've removed all the earwax from the ear canal and that'll let me get a good look at the eardrum make me ma let me make a correct diagnosis and also relieve the patient's earwax impaction. Any ear irrigation procedure can result in minor complications such as discomfort, irritation, otitis externa, or failure to remove the obstruction. The Otoclear ear irrigation system greatly minimizes these complications. Using the Bionics family of ceramin removal products, including Safe Ear Curettes, Lighted Ear Curettes, and the Otoclear ear irrigation system, you can perform ceramin removal procedures more confidently and effectively, with greater safety and comfort for patients of all ages. To order or to find out more about these and other innovative products from Bionics, contact your local Bionics representative.